Well, that was certainly a thing that we would just walk through. I really thought we'd crash there going through that hatch. It took yeah, so long, and I was happens. like, oh, yeah. Can we get up there from here? Yeah. I think this is the moment that I thought you were talking about. Yeah, this is what I was yeah. about. This is what I. This made now, me hate him more, though. This is where I parted ways with my dad, so I don't know me what too. she just did to get to the next step, but. Yeah, you just stick with it. Stick with it. We're doing this together. Everybody hold hands. Okay, but I I want to be. I, really I don't want to hold hands. You too, Josh. Getting ice cream and meeting outside of a mission related context, but. Loading screens. So yeah, this you is as far as I've got. I never finished that mission. You definitely get a moment with your dad where there's no fighting around. <laughs> it's it's good. It's good. Wait till we get. I never finished like, that You know, provided like a vertebra it, doesn't show up. But and again, crash. it turns out I didn't break it. It's just stupid. <laughs> Son, you know. Dad, did you have to stand all, all the way over I here? Never set foot outside the institute. <laughs> Not once. Since the day they brought me here. Hi, Nick. How you doing? <laughs> I've never had okay, a That's kind of... That's a little bit lazy. I mean... This is the part of the game where I really started hating Father. Like, I already yeah, really didn't like him, future. but this part I was like, oh, well, you know what? Screw you, you buddy. Like, alone. just because you think you're better than all these people... I built How a settlement for, like, five hours. In... He's like, How about oh, we go get takeout, is... Father? Standing. How about we go get noodles, and then maybe you could calm your I'm shit down for five How seconds. I am. He's like, oh, I never had a reason to come up here and look around. It's almost like it was a waste of time sending all those armies of killbots to murder people for no reason. Why did we bother? Well, you know, Father, it's great that the Institute rescued you from the vault. Wouldn't it have been swell if you rescued me, too? Yeah, they God left damn. me frozen. How about... They left... Yeah. I was frozen today. Do it. I was frozen today! <laughs> they did, and That's for good Christopher reason. Lloyd and more like what somebody about reason. to start a Broadway play based on that movie. <laughs> I was frozen <laughs> today! Like, <laughs> oh man, we get loopy at the end of seasons. Another source of pre-war DNA. Preferably related to their primary subject. So this, I it guess, is supposed to be your tie to the conflict. The fact that you've also got the magic DNA. So you this was yeah. really squandered. I got yeah. the magic stick. I got well, a lot of the stick. Why can't you're so you just... precious. Yeah. You're so precious and it was so important to keep your oh, DNA untainted what? that I unleashed you on he the way He literally says that in the next line! I had no expectation that you'd survive to make your way here. It's like, extraordinary. what the fuck then? Why'd you do it? Why let me out now? Sarcastic. After all Aww. this time. That's... Sarcastic is my favorite option. Well, that's hard. It's hard to explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see? Hard to explain so, I'm it's stupid. extremely I'm hard to explain. <laughs> I'm also demented. I wanted to see what would happen. I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> An experiment. That was really I'm a really insane. bad scientist. Yeah, they, they really <laughs> squander any like like there there could have this guy could have been a really interesting character of like would you I wouldn't mind if we shot him in the head Perhaps right after this conversation. If he was like Kate like, Johnson, this is what scientist. <laughs> well, or if he was Kate Johnson, like, and crazy, fine. but he keeps the game keeps pretending he's he's not like that. It's pathetic, please. It's pathetic. This is science. I still love you. I still love you. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> I'm sorry you see it that way. Wait, did we just lose Perhaps father? No, 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 no. No, of course not. Nothing you say in this there game matters. No, you can lose father here. Like this, this is the point really? where you can lose uh, the institute as an option. Now, I, I think you have to uh, actually have betrayed him for that to happen, and we didn't no. do that. No, you don't need to. Uh, I betrayed him, and he still wanted to hang. And I was like, dude. Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be assigned to new. It's okay, son. I mean, dad. 
not the fault. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. It could have been... They could have made this character, like, really good in this scene. If all they did was, like, say, you know, it was it was important to keep you on ice, but I really wanted to see you once. Or something like that. That would have worked. Why didn't they... Why, why did they have to make him just even more of a monster? The, the rest of the Institute did not want you thought out, but I couldn't take it anymore, so I sneakily yeah. ha arranged for you to be and set And you can, free. like, make it so there's some factionalism of, like, that's why he couldn't just, like, straight up have a courser take you immediately from the vault to the institute like, right how much how much better would this be if we found out that father like had gotten to a pretty high place in the institute but not the top and they were all dead sent against bring you back and he lobbied for it for years and years and finally he like sneakily set something up like he sabotaged yeah. something so that like you were set free and like you f make your way there and like he can, he finds he's a trying way to, to help you like, along. He finds a way to help Secretly. you along, like to send you clues and like breadcrumbs, like to, to yeah. bring you to him. And then together you overthrow the dude who is in charge of the Institute. And he's like, okay, yeah. now let's do this. Yeah. Are you seriously not going to let me sit in his chair? God damn. Patience. Like, I'm not... I, you know, <laughs> it's easy to get into a thing where you say, well, wouldn't it be better if they did this? Wouldn't it be better if they did that? And to be like, well, yeah, okay, would it, wouldn't I like this game better if they made it the way I would make it? Talking about it here out of my ass without actually doing any work. And that's a very Again, valid criticism like of our criticism. <laughs> this but, whole, like season has made me feel like how I feel when I watch wrestling, where it's like, let me think about it for five seconds and come up with a better storyline than what you idiots right, did. Like, it's, it's really exactly like the same. thing would be better. It's like they, they, yeah. they, they fail it on every level to the point where, you know, it's not, if you randomly scramble elements or if you change something, it probably would not make it better. But it no. probably would not make it much worse either because this is a fundamentally dysfunctional and broken storyline. It creates a, no drama that it is not immediately mocked. Yes, um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains... And I think this is why people will play 500 hours in this game and then say it's not very good. Because yeah. the gameplay is enjoyable. Or just don't ever get to no the end of the game. Component to playing it, unless you the environmental your, your stuff... NPCs. Very good, thank you. The environmental stuff of this game is really great, and unfortunately, through this playthrough, we can't really, like, read, but some of the stuff that you find on consoles are really interesting, like, the different, like, stories of people who have already been dead for a long time, or raiders, or whatever. That stuff is really, really interesting, and it added a lot to the environment for me. Of course! Phase 3! <laughs> yeah, that thing! <laughs> The institute yeah. ends up being very yeah, and look, boring. and it makes no difference. He de like it, the game Apologies. wouldn't even allow sure you to skip around. a piece of exposition and just run around not knowing what's going on. The game wouldn't even let you do that. It was like, no, I'm going to explain it to you anyway. Tangible. Imagine a guy looking like Reginald Cuthbert ending up in front of the president <laughs> and like the president going, do you know about the nuclear codes? And Reginald going, yeah, yeah, I know about the nuclear codes. I, I've always yeah. known about the nuclear codes. They're, they're of course. And the, and the president going, oh, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong about not knowing about the nuclear codes. They're very secret. <laughs> no, no, I know. I know all about the nuclear codes. Believe me. And then the conversation just continues. And that is basically what just Happened. Personnel and equipment no longer. Phase three is simply. I, I really fell into the, the institute more. Of a and I, I know I didn't do their full quest line. I pretty basically quit after I talked to everybody and did their first new quest. But I think the problem is that the institute are treated like horror movie villains spirit. throughout the wasteland. And there's really two places you can go with that. Sounds the like first is they're now. very yes. sympathetic human what? people. And, like have kind of extreme goals, but like you can definitely but see how their drives and motivations we have push them to them, and it's very plausible. Us, and the other way you can go with it is they are monsters. Like maybe you even show up and like they look yes, weird because like they they've been Previously, genetically modifying themselves over the years and experimenting on each other and like well, they're eugenicists and like all this other well, like stuff that separates them from the rest of the people in the wasteland. And that would be cool. And either one of those would be interesting, but as it is, I, there's just not a lot to latch onto here. 
There's not there much about the Institute that makes them different than the other in, other NPCs you meet in the game. The really? Like, Great there's sort of a like privileged douchebag thing going, but it doesn't even commit sure to it all the way. Right, they terrorize people, and they're the boogeymen of the thing, and there's no reason. They will never give a reason. I would hey, totally be Rutskarn, down with... do you know about this? Have failed. What? Are you aware of what gets revealed here? Has been uh, no. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry oh. to say I am dying. What? Yeah. But guess what he's Everyone, dying of, Redskarn? I am sorry. Uh, guess what it is. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. He's dying of being a stupid, dying, stupid idiot. I'm so. I don't know. A very oh, cancer. Oh, He's answer. dying of cancer. Not any fun. <laughs> that was fun actually my guess. That was my, that was my guess. That was too boring. Yeah, just to say. cancer. I didn't do it. What? Right now, the future of the institute. Not campster. He's not the dying of campster. He's dying. You of are oh. cancer. No, no, Chris, cancer. See, that, that's, yeah, that's the problem. Is that Chris has been posting on YouTube too long. He's learned to respond yeah. to cancer. <laughs> I actually had a. Um, God, I shouldn't laugh at that. I had someone tell me that like they had a they I think they quit the game at this point because they had a family member who was suffering from cancer and it totally like kind of ruined the game for them because they're in the sci-fi world it's immersive it's wacky it's crazy and then there's this character that's died of cancer and it's like well that just took me out of this immersive thing and now I'm thinking about my family again and it made me think like why couldn't he just be dying of something else why did it have to be cancer that's such a An weird choice you know like <laughs> something to pay off to all the science stuff like oh it was an experiment yeah. we were trying it's all these since we were basing on my dna and we did some experiments on me and now they're catching up with me and there's nothing we can exactly do. Can I, my my can assumption is it's supposed to be ironic here. Because his DNA is pure, and yet he got the cancer despite all the radiation that everyone else was infested with. And the whole concern yeah, with why we needed Sean to begin with, with that. was the radiation, and we needed Sean because he was pure. So I think See, it's supposed yeah. to be ironic. Just, they didn't really set that up very well. well I mean, we just is set finished up well a game, meeting but... where this guy reveals that, and, and this guy, where. where Father says that he's been seeing this doctor for a while, and he has cancer, and it's all very somber, and everybody gets up and leaves. And then, the second that happens, this guy pops off his ambient dialogue. Man, the stuff they're doing in the synth stuff is so cool, isn't it? <laughs> As everybody's getting up. Jesus Christ, this game! Alright, what do we do here? I and this is not at all to invalidate like what the no other idea. person felt when they played the game, what their reaction to it was. Well, but I'm in a very similar situation, and I hope it wasn't too presumptuous. Honestly, to put you in charge without even it's like it's white noise. Like I'm I dying of cancer a... is like such a yeah. It's I just think it just a raises a point bit. of like. It Most could have been something else. Common. It could have been something Perfect. more interesting, but they pick something as just. I mean, unfortunately, cancer is a very normal thing that happens to people, and to and they just pick something that's so normal, and it's like you could have gone somewhere else with this, and you decided to pick something that a lot of people, you know, know about and maybe are suffering themselves. So it's kind of just it's strange. I don't know. If there was a real emotional journey here, like if we had a real emotional connection to father then it might make sense to you something yeah. real although it wouldn't be necessary Definitely. you can you can make a fake disease feel very it feel totally real and like vital and fresh and painful you don't have to that's, though. that's the other thing is that cancer is a disease intimately related with uh, radiation for good or for ill and throughout the rest of the game rads are treated as mm -hmm. something you just make go away by drinking enough rataway juice and then suddenly mm -hmm. whoa cancer is this thing that even in the distant future with all of the institute's tech we can't beat um what did you expect to happen i mean i say that i know what you expected to happen Josh. but come on joshua don't tell me you were surprised by that. I was so sad that my fa my my son father has <laughs> cancer that I threw myself from a balcony and died. I mean, it, it's just the distance between like 
the idea of Fallout, the wacky game where you're in a post-apocalypse mm -hmm. and absorb tons of rads yeah. every day because the world is tough and we're all living in a post-nuclear apocalypse with like, no, it turns out cancer is a thing that kills people and is pretty incurable. And the dissonance there it just really... It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Right, it doesn't. It doesn't it's a fit. It's tonal whiplash, yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably what, you know, brings people out. Like, oh, okay, I'm out of this immersion. I would be okay if these two were a couple, but you Hi know guys. they're not. They just did the A. They are. They just no, they did they're they're the same last name. Yeah, they're a couple. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. I just thought they just well, pathed to the closest easy. bed when their bedtime kicked around. And they it's just so like... It's so hard to get sexy when your whole Absolutely. facility is one big that's fucking cool. atrium. Recent events have upset our Yeah, and when you get into bed wearing your your science smock, it needs to be running. I think I figured out why you guys aren't having babies down here. But it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war. Oh yeah, let me slip into my clothes above the covers. Let me slip into my sexy smock and spoon two feet away on top of our plastic bed. It'll allow us to. We must find the beryllium sphere. Running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll the details will be lost on you, no offense. Hey, lady, what if I'm playing a character who's really good, good at science? Appreciate what, how would you do that? I, I don't know. I don't like going about high science. Unless there's no God damn it, you can't game. have high science anymore. Options dwindling I want high science. I want to, be good. I want to have the high science. I empathize so much. <laughs> All I want is a good role-playing game out of Fallout, and that's that's what makes me sad. Like... You you can I don't even need it to be like totally Hello, consistent. New Vegas. <laughs> okay, yes, New Vegas is good. I I agree. New Vegas is the best Fallout we've had since Fallout One and Two. But still, like I just want a good role playing game more than anything. I don't I need to be able to Me build too. bases. I don't need cute, plucky Bioware sidekicks. I don't need I just to be able to have... customize guns. I just want to have high science and be like, actually, I know everything about science, and you're dumb, and I'm smart, and see you later. If that was a cool, like, dialogue option, I'd be I'd be so crazy about that. I love unique dialogue options to whatever spec you picked, you know? Like, what if you picked, I'm strong, and then every problem that shows up, you're like, oh, don't worry, I'm really strong. I can just smash it. Like, that would be great. That's all that's, I need. I, that's actually the reason why I feel like the female character in this game was a late addition. Uh, because... Yes. Because, you know, the male character is definitely a soldier. The female character is definitely a lawyer. And there's nothing you can do in this game that is inconsistent with the idea of a military person. And there's nothing you can do in this game that is especially consistent with the idea of a lawyer. Like it really feels the like the parts where they yeah. straight up refer to the yeah. female character as being a soldier, and it's like, okay. Yeah, no, you absolutely have a law degree, like as 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 a as the female character, like it, so it's explicit, like yeah. Oh no! Even your father, you your husband even mentions it in the recording, steel. where he's like, maybe if things get bad, you could dust off your law degree. I remember when the Brotherhood of Steel was like endgame content that was kind of optional and not related to anything you were doing. And I, I liked them when they were that, and not this. So, like, the first game? Yes, <laughs> the first game. And and that's it? Well, like... I'm, I'm not a fan of the second one. Like, everybody's like, oh, the first two Fallout games. I The more I've reflected on them... Did I just get experience things? for failing a bunch of quests? I wasn't yeah. expecting this, I... Yes, I like the second game. It is not as good as the first in terms of narrative, and it is way more goofy in terms of tone, but it does not oh, suffer cool the problems looking. this game does. I'm not right. the sort of person who usually enjoys this kind of thing, but the thing I liked about Fallout 2 is actually, like, the trashy parts. Like, going through yeah. Reno and just, like... It, it, the lurid... It was, it was good... Lurid, not, like, okay. parts with trash. <laughs> yes, lurid. Like... Fallout 1 felt like, uh, this is what society would look like in the post-apocalypse. Fallout 2 feels more like, oh, this is what a psychotronic adaptation <laughs> of, like, a garbage grindhouse wasteland movie yeah. would feel like if it was done with yeah. some intelligence. Although there's actually yes. plenty of stuff in Fallout 2 that I think is so, the wrong kind of crass. 
Oh, I don't fucking want to Whoa, seriously? Uh-huh. Wait, wow. And also, the, um, the, the end of Fallout... The end of Fallout uh, 2 is... Weird. No, not weird. It just doesn't work. The, the end of Fallout 2 is bad, no. actually. Yeah, but it didn't give yeah. us a save when Report we... It should have saved as soon as we went to a different place. Yeah, what... Yeah. Yeah, what... Damn it, video game. All right, hi. It's a the Bethesda main reason game. I quit this dun, game. Dun, dun, Actually, dun, the, dun. the primary reason I quit this game was not because of its story sins, no matter what I say. The primary reason Busy why I never picked it back up again well, was, in fact, the fact uh -huh. that I didn't like Absolutely. knowing oh, that if I wanted to play it, I had started an interior area. Uh -huh. I knew that I was going to have to sit through a loading screen to get to the main menu, to sit through a loading screen to get to the interior area, to sit through a loading screen to get to the exterior area, to sit through a loading screen to get to where I'm fast traveling to, to sit through a loading screen to get to where I'm going to. Oh my god, Joshua. it, Josh. Joshua. Will you please, please fucking don't do that anymore. Stop jumping off things. You are not Spider-Man. You're not really? Batman. Like <laughs> you are not some kind of bunny. You can't do this. <laughs> you burned half like, the time in this week, and we've done half a quest. Normally, <laughs> I would be sarcastically quests. like telling you, "Oh, by the way, Josh, remember not to jump oh. off of things." But I'm starting to think that might be a service you genuinely require. <laughs> like at various times, it occurs God, to you to jump off something. Please remind me of the gravity oh things sometimes. I forget. Easy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. God. You're going to leave busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's busy about to get day, busier. Busy day, indeed. <laughs> busy day for you. Kind of Groundhog Day-ish, isn't it? Sounds good. I'd it's a busy it. day for you, isn't it? Consider it done. Like... What? I'm, I'm mashing buttons. They're not going fast I do. enough. <laughs> Aren't you afraid you're going to hit a dialogue option that does something you don't want it to? Gosh, don't you dare! It takes the storyline oh, the wrong direction? Why are you going this oh, way? Can't really. you just fast travel home? No, you have to use you the relay. To, you have to use the teleporter for this one. I... Uh, I don't even know if you can get up there without the teleporter. Yeah, it's great, because this way we get we get to use the elevator. Don't you guys love Dude, elevators? Dude, is that a... Is that a walking ramp that is made out of glass? Like, you get a little water on that and you're dead. You slip and yeah. die. I, I would slip I and die water. in this place so many times. So many times I would slip and die. But we're willing to yell at Josh when he does it, of course. Wait, Josh, look up. Yeah. Th are yeah. those dicks on the roof? <laughs> yeah, oh. sure. Let's go with that. Are there? Are they ever? Now look to your left. It's Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, that would be the worst if you like somehow managed to get like a drawing of a dick on top of the roof. Like of their glass elevator, because someone have to go. Oh, up there that's and clean what I it. want. Uh, that was the waited. only good thing about the new Duke Nukem game is that you can draw dicks. Why don't they have that in other games? I want to run around just drawing dicks on stuff on everything. It's the, the Bioware awesome button. Yeah, it's oh, like fun I want to write dicks. Wash me button on dicks. every car dicks in the post apocalypse. Are now connected. It's no fun in Duke Nukem because you know that's exactly why they put it in the game, so you could draw a dick there. I want to do it in Call of Duty. I want to be Sam Fisher, and they're like, okay, show us your plan for ingress. And he, you know, and then he goes up to the dry race board, and he's like, dick. <laughs> and then he goes up and he's like, all the way with that. Like, where you get court martialed, and like, where people are yelling at you. And by the third time, they're like, sobbing, like, take this seriously. We're going to die out here. You're like, I don't care. It's doggers.